Hello, my friends. I'm Sheila Pearl, the love doctor. This week we're talking about different ways to make love better, to behave in such a way, to find ways to respond in ways that create more connection and greater intimacy in all of your loving relationships. So the theme this week in making love better is to engage in radical acceptance. So today we're talking about the importance of being curious, not making assumptions, to check it out. That recognizing that if we're triggered by something or someone else is triggered by something and, and you have some kind of conflict and explosion, possibly there's a misunderstanding somewhere. Earlier this week, I experienced that very kind of misunderstanding. One of the new couples that I've been working with had uh, contacted me kind of in the middle of the night on Thursday night and uh, said that they had had a big fight and they needed to see me uh, sooner than later on our session where everything is virtual these days. So when I say see me, we, we get together by video. And uh, so I said, fine, I can, I can be with you tomorrow night. Okay, so that next morning, the husband texted me and said, oh, I think we have to reschedule because I'm not gonna have money in the bank until April, I think it was April 10th or something. And I said, uh, no, we're not rescheduling. You need to see me now so you can pay me when you have the money. Well, I didn't hear back from the husband. And I thought that was kind of strange because he was thinking that we weren't gonna be able to have a session. And I was saying, yes, we are going to have a session, that you need me now, stat, and the money can wait. So I had a feeling when I got close to the appointment time that he had misunderstood me. So I texted and I said, is it possible that you misunderstood my message? I had said that we have to have your session tonight because I can tell that it's important. And I told you that I'd be willing to accept payment for that when you have the money. And he got back to me and he said, oh, I did misunderstand. So sorry, I'm not used to that kind of kindness. So that was misunderstanding number one. and. I used my intuition to kind of sense that there had been a disconnect somewhere. And then I reread my message and it was a text message. So we didn't have a phone conversation. And knowing him the little bit that I do, I realized that he probably saw the first couple of words and they might have sounded harsh because I said, no, we're not rescheduling. You need to have the session tonight. But I don't think he even got any, any farther than, no, we're not rescheduling. And he assumed that I meant that until you pay me, we can't have a session. And that was the opposite of what I was saying. So when we did get on to our session with the, with the couple, with his wife, she confirmed the fact that he had told her that I said we couldn't have the session until they could pay me. And she said, that's interesting because the fight that we had that precipitated our needing to see you was about another misunderstanding, that he heard something that I didn't say, he interpreted something I said completely upside down and the opposite, and as a result, they were off in, into, the, into the weeds with a, another explosion and fight. It's so important to recognize that you might have misunderstood or the other person might have misunderstood and to be willing to ask the question, now wait a minute, did, did I get that right? Now wait a minute, is it possible that you misunderstood me? Now wait a minute, I wanna make sure that I made myself clear, maybe I didn't so that we get curious and we don't make assumptions. So often in our most important relationships, we're also very vulnerable. And sometimes it's our fear that gets in the way 
And sometimes our fear is leading the parade and our fear is listening, not our loving, trusting heart. And as I said to the couple that had misunderstood, or the, the husband that had misunderstood the wife, uh, she said she had said to her, so the husband, I don't think Sheila would have said that. That doesn't seem to be like her. He said, no, no, that's what she said. No, oh. he didn't read any further. Because what I understood further after we had a conversation about it was that he had never experienced such kindness, that his mother had always shouted at him, had always put him down, so he'd gotten used to assuming the worst rather than assuming the best. So my intuition was shouting at me, check it out, Sheila, I have a feeling he misunderstood. When you love someone, you owe it to them to be curious, to check it out, don't make assumptions. And it goes both ways. Sometimes you can be misunderstood by the other person and sometimes, you know, you could misunderstand too. So instead of saying, did I get that right? Or did, you know, you could turn it around. In other words, check it out on both, both sides. You know, sometimes <laughs> one, one of the couples I'm working with, the wife has gotten used to saying, would you like to say that again? Giving her husband the chance to rephrase what he was saying. So check it out. Be curious, don't make assumptions. Radical acceptance is accepting the best in one another. If you have a loving relationship, you might as well give each other the benefit of the doubt. And if you're enemies, truly enemies, then don't claim to be a loving relationship. Cut bait and, and, and move on. But if you claim to have a, loving, a loving relationship, then be loving. Give yourself and your, your partner and the other person the benefit of the doubt. Check it out. Be curious. Seek to understand. You'll go a long way, a long way to greater connection, greater understanding, and greater intimacy. That's my tip for today. I'll see you tomorrow.